All right, welcome back to Dead Men Tell No Tells. This is going to be video two, and we're on Lydia's turn. She needs to draw her tile. So we get a three with another explosion, so I want that to be close by. Get our red three. <clears throat> get my reminder. And our token. But she's another crew. The strength of four. So she is going to use that action that was given to her to increase her battle strength. Use her own action to do that again. Again. So and plus that sword, that already gives her a plus four. So I think that's it. So she's going to move into this room. And have to fight him. So that's a five. Uh, that's going to be overkill. Actually, though, a five plus her sword, which is that automatic plus one strength in battle, is a six. So at this point, I don't have to use what I have built up. So I'm just going to flip this. It's going to be treasure. I'm not going to pick it up though. I'm going to fight the fire to drop this down to a three. And I need to take four fatigue. It's going to take me up to eight. <sighs> so, I'm going to fight fire again. Drop this to a two. And I'm going to rest. And my revenge card is a four, yellow. So all my fours, like this one, become, my yellow fours become fives. So we need to go take care of that room. That's the only one. Now, what this means is that any time you have deck hands that have fewer deck hands, in adjacent rooms that are in the uh, trapdoor room that they're going to move. So there's fewer in this one, so that moves there. Fewer in this one, so that one moves there. Alright, Brack to Cobalt. He's going to draw his tile, which is a four. to get my token and it's a trap door so we have to draw get our deck hand also one other thing is anytime you have uh, so many deck hands on the board that you can't place any of them anymore you you automatically lose uh, one thing with treasure because I don't know if I'm actually going to going to get there but Say I had a treasure over here and I had picked it up and I had moved into this room with one of the guards. I can't carry treasure and fight at the same time. So I have to put the treasure down and then fight. And then I'd have to spend an action to pick it back up again before continuing on. So that's how moving with treasure works. Alright, so we set our... Um... Oh, also, when they move, the deckhands, when they're moving, they don't move into another room with another trap door. So this one will never go in this room. It'll always go into that room. <clears throat> Alright, so anyway, let's start his actions. So he's still going to move. So move him for one. To go in here. Move him two. To get off the ship. So we have one treasure. Now, by exiting off the ship, um, all my actions automatically or my turn is done, so my actions are automatically going to be passed over to uh, the next player since I can't use them. And my fatigue level is automatically going to drop in half. His was only a six, so it's going to drop down to a three. Now the revenge card, which all my yellow ones are going to become twos. I don't have any yellow ones, so it doesn't matter. 
and all my trap doors are going to get more deckhands. So that's going to get one. It's going to get one. And this one over here. Now with the building up of the deckhands, this room right here with there being two deckhands in this room means that if there was a token in there, um, I couldn't pick it up until those deckhands were defeated. If there's three deckhands in a room, it means that I can't move into that room at all. Alright, so Mr. Flynn, he's preparing to go and fight that other treasure. So. The other guard, I should say. Alright, so he's going to use the three actions that he was given. To, hold on, i got to go back. He needs a tile first. So an explosion of two, so I want this one close by. It's only got three doors though, so I'm going to have to place it like this because all my doors have to line up. But it doesn't get a die. It does get a token though. All right, so now I'll continue. So now my three actions that were given to me are gonna be used to increase my battle strength. Three, one, two, three. So is going to make me a 4. The room next to me is a 2, which I can still enter. And because it's a 2 and a 2, it's not going to cost me any fatigue to enter it. So... And he's an 8, though. Before I move in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sword from Lydia. Give me a plus 1, even more so. And she's going to have to take one of the other ones. I think she'll take the rum, which is going to give her a free rest action. Alright, now that I have the sword, now we're going to move in there. So move in here, and now we fight. So I have to beat an 8. We got a three plus my five, so good thing I got that sword. So my five, six, seven, eight, I tied him, so we did in fact defeat him. Spend another action to get rid of this deckhand. And I think I'm gonna rest. And I'm gonna rest. My fatigue's getting way up there. We still have a five over here. This needs to be taken care of. This room's probably gonna blow up, I bet. Yeah, because we gotta get past him. Alright, but that ends his turn. We used his uh, battle strength. So now we get our revenge card, which is a three red. Which this one. This one. And all my guys are going to move. So this one doesn't have fewer. This one does, though. This one has fewer. This one has fewer. That one has fewer. Lydia's tile, so it's a three with the only one exit. Ugh. So we'll place it up here. And my token will be another guard. Although this one, I'll show you. This one actually has the cutlass. 
So as I was saying earlier, this is the one where if I were to use it, I'd place it on my board. And then when I drop down, I'd only drop down to one because this is blocking the zero. Alright, tile was drawn. So now it's Lydia's turn. She gets a free rest action. She's over here. We need to get in there and beat him. Because, yeah, because I need to get in that room. But you know what? I might actually just want to go this way to get in there. So I'm not going to raise my battle strength to do that. Although, before I do anything, I'm going to use my one action that I just did to get rid of this guy. So that we can pick up that treasure. As I move into here, I get two fatigue. Put me up to eight. I'm going to use my uh, free rest action to go back down to six. And now I have to fight him since I'm in that room with him. So hopefully I can get more than a three so I don't have to use my battle strength, which I do. So just defeat him. Flip him over and he's the cutlass. So I'm going to use an action to take that. Now I'm going to move into this room, which was a 4 to a 5, so that's 1 fatigue. And then I'll fight fire twice to drop this down to a 3. And that's the end of Lydia's turn. So now we have this one, and this one means that any spaces that don't have dice are ready get them and of course we have crew movement so we'll do the dice first because there's quite a few of them that don't so this one gets a one it's a one it's a one then this one gets a red one as well and i think that's every tile has a die yep now the skeleton movement, which he's going to move there. So we'll resolve that. Which we defeated him. And then the next one, the closest is going to be over here. Let's so move this one into that room. And then the crew up here will move down here. Well, that's everybody moving. So back to Cobalt, who's off the ship, ready to come back on the ship. So tile, so two door with the one, with the three. So I want to keep this one close to, man, it's a two though. You do that to wrap it around. It's just a two up though. This is a three. This is a low one, so I think I do want to keep this one kind of close. So I'll put it here. We gotta hurry to get the treasure, but I've got two of them showing right now, so maybe we'll make it. Another guard, this is seven. Alright, Cobalt needs to go get treasure. That's what he needs to do. That's his job. So one gets one fatigue. Nearest treasure. So that's a four. That one doesn't have anything. So I'm going to run. Which, that takes one fatigue. That would take zero fatigue, but because I ran, that gives me two more. So that's three fatigue altogether. It gives me seven. And we're going to go into the next room. 
which gets me one fatigue to eight. And I will pick up the treasure, and move over there for my last action. Because I went from a two to a one, I don't pick up any fatigue. Although, you know what, I'm not going to move. I'm going to stay in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my action to use my bucket to do my uh, lower fire die in adjacent room once per turn. Because this blows up on a 2 and it's already at a 1. I need to move this to a 2. So that's going to remove that one. That one makes that room a little bit more safe. Now my revenge card, which is all my 3s. All my yellow 3s, I should say which is this one, goes to a four. Now one thing I hope I hadn't run into before, if so I apologize because I cheated, but anytime I'm in a room when the fire goes up, like it just did, so purple is going to have uh, their fatigue raise one, so they're gonna go up to a seven. And then all of my Let's see here, less, that one doesn't have any. That one's not fewer. So it looks like right now, none of the uh, deckhands are going to be moving. So now we go to Crimson Flynn. He gets a two, two exits with a two. So where do I want to put this? Where can I put this? Well, we have a wall right there, so I guess we'll put it here. And we have another crew. He's a bigger one though, a five. All right, Flynn, where are you and what are we gonna do? He's red. He just took on the treasure. That blows at a five, so I wanna get in that next room. I think for right now I'm going to trade. I'm going to use an action to trade my sword for the blanket. And I'm going to use my action of the blanket to get rid of that. I'm going to rest for a minute. Try me down to a four. And I'm going to move into this next room, which is going to raise me forward. So I'm going to, going to go up to eight. And then I will fight the fire. Drop this to a three. Because it was getting really close to uh, blowing up. And that would not have been good. So now we move on. Okay, so all my fours. Yep, see, look at that. It would have just blew up. So I was very fortunate I got in there. This one over here became a five. So she takes another fatigue to go up to eight. So it becomes a five. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got a lot of fours out there. It just became fives. So we're going to have to work on the fire. All my fours are exchanged, right? And unfortunately, all my trapdoors get more deck hands. As you can see, it gets to be where there's a lot going on on the board. It's like things are happening all over the place. All right, so let's see here. Those two, that one, that one, and that one. So they're all up. All right, Lydia's tile, she's going get a three. So I can place it here. Although I'm 
hoping I didn't mess myself up with the ship. Still have to be able to place. If I can't place, then I lose the game. So, if I didn't make my mess myself up, like I said. All right, so her tile's down, so it's Lydia's turn. She's a plus three, but she's got to fight some fire. So she's going to spend an action. Hold on. So I'm going to use my rest action to drop this down to six. Then I'm going to spend my action to swap my rum for the bucket. And I think he's going to... So because I took that from Cobalt, he had to take one from the pile and so he's going to take the compass which is going to give him a free walk action since I'm using him to try to get the treasure off the ship all right and then so once per turn I can lower a fire down adjacent room so we we'll spend an action to drop this to a four Spend an action to pick this up, but I'm going to immediately use it to drop me down to two. Another action to drop this to a four. And then a three. Actually, do I want to do that? Four is the. I think I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep this a four. And what I'm going to do instead is now use that action to switch my bucket for the sword. And we're going to hope for the best. That's a four. So I need to get to a four or higher. Whew, let's hope for the best. Last action. Move into this room. And fight the guard. Uh oh. That's not good. So that was a one. So to three, three, four, five. So now I have a fatigue of three for losing. So now I'm going to take my fatigue of three. So one, two, three. Because that was my difference. So now I have a choice on whether or not to fight him or to retreat into an adjacent room. I think I'm going to re retreat. So that way we can start working on this fire again. Man, I've got to get up there though. Man, that was unfortunate to lose. And I knew I was gambling. Alright, so the revenge. So all my threes become fours. The fire is building. It's getting roaring. Can we survive long enough to get off the ship? This is what also becomes a four. And red is in that room. So red just went up to nine. So he can't go into rooms with uh, four or five. Since he's in that room that's a four. And he just hit that level. Next uh, turn he has to fight the fire. Because I have to drop it lower than the level that I'm at. And then, of course, we had uh, crew movement, which going into um, blue. Uh oh. So, blue has to drop the treasure. And is going to have to fight. So, blue is going to need a miracle. Cobalt will need a miracle. Four or higher. Four or higher. Four or higher. Good job. So, he beats him to get a cutlass. Well, to have a cutlass there, I should say. Okay, so that was the one crew. Guard, guard. Crew here, closest will be over here, so you'll move there. Crew here, move there. So Crimson's getting a little bit uh, pinned in. 
All right, back to cobalt. So I have a three with a four explosion. This one might blow up because it's way up there and there's no way I'm going to be able to get to it. And it starts out halfway to its explosion point. Another crew for a three. All right, my tile's done. And I think before I actually go into his turn, uh, we'll go ahead and end this video since I'm at uh, 26 minutes or about.